Let's give him worship. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him praise. Let's appreciate him. Let's thank him for life. Let's thank him for mercy. He alone is worthy to be praised. There's no one like him. None else can be like him. In him alone we live and move and have our being. It's because of him we're here now. Magnify him. Let's believe him. Let's trust him. Let's glorify him. Let's honor him. Let's abandon ourselves to him. Call him by his many names. Tell him who he has been to you, who he will be to you. He does not change. Ever present God, full of mercy. He's my healer, the great provider, the Holy One of Israel, the one who is, the one who was, the one who is. He does not change at all. His power does not diminish. He's constant. Oh, we are pledge your majesty, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer, our hope for tomorrow, our anchor. Oh, let's appreciate him for the Holy Spirit that he has left us, so that we're not like the lost. We have a direction. We're not in despair. We have hope. There's a future for us. There's nothing he cannot do. He's more than able. Let's praise him. Let's honor him. His ways are far beyond our ways. We cannot understand his ways because he's God. And he'll always be God. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. We're still worshiping the Lord. Can you hear me at the back? If you can hear me at the back, just wave to me, please. Okay, praise the Lord. A lady was telling me about her testimony. We're still worshiping God. She lives abroad. So she, was, she went to the hospital to deliver. And she chose epidural. Epidural. That meant that they give her an injection to make the whole of her lower part numb. So that during labor, the pushing, she will not feel anything. But they needed to test her blood first. So the nurse came and, you know, took her blood, put a plaster there. Like when they, they, they after they've taken your blood, they put a plaster so that it doesn't uh, continue bleeding. And then the doctor was around. And the doctor checked and said, you are three centimeters and she's supposed to be 10 centimeters. So the doctor said, I'll be back in about X number of minutes, maybe one hour. The estimated time when she'll be ready to deliver naturally. And then suddenly the midwife came in after the doctor had left. And the baby just came out, you know, like that. By the time the doctor came, the baby had come out. And she was carrying the baby and, you know, happy with her husband. Then the doctor came back. And, you know, they were chatting. And suddenly the doctor said, Why are you cold? Touched her. Why are you cold? And the lady said, Is she cold? Before she knew what was happening, they were carrying gadgets. They put her in ICU. What happened? Her blood pressure went up suddenly. If she had had that epidural, if she had had, um, um, if she had had that epidural, that injection, you know, they would not have known that something was abnormal because the whole of her body would have been numb. But because she was normal, the doctor was able to detect immediately that you are not moving the way you should. So she was saying, and then they said. We can't find the record of your blood. They looked into their system. It was not there. She said, but they took my blood. Look at the plaster. So I asked her, what about the nurse who took the blood? She said, no nurse came up. They couldn't find any nurse. They searched and searched and said, no record of the blood. Because when they take the blood, they put the results, what I see in their system. Nothing that about it. Anyway, to cut it short, if she had, 
if they had taken the blood, they would have given her the epidural. And when her BP was rising, the doctor said she would have just had stroke. Her brain would have been filled with water and she would have died. The doctor was telling her everything that was happening. What is happening? You know, this is what is happening. She happening now. If she had had epidural, they would have thought epidural was what was what was affecting her. They would not have detected that her body was abnormal. So God sent an angel because up till today they cannot find the nurse that took her blood. The blood was nowhere to be found. The record nowhere to be found. The plaster on her hand, the small plaster, to show that they took the blood because God did not want her to take the epidural. Because God had known that her BP would rise, and if it rose like that, they would not have detected it was she was having um, going into stroke. If she had had the epidural, they would not have known that stroke was coming. They would have concluded that was the epidural. They would not have known she was not feeling anyhow. So God moves in mysterious ways. He's wonders to perform. And she was already in ICU because they were ready for surgery. So where she was already was where they put up the all the gadgets were there to treat with her emergency, to deal with her emergency. God had known there'll be emergency. Got her place in ICU room. All the gadgets were already up. And that's how God saved her life. God moves in mysterious ways. His wonders to perform. When we think something is negative, God is saying it's positive. When we asking God, why now? God is saying, I'm working on your behalf. God is not man. God is just God. Let's praise him. Let's magnify him. Up to now, no record of her blood in the system. Nothing about the nurse. Nothing. Nothing. The baby just came out. But her baby just went up when she was ready. The heaven was ready to, to deal with her not having stroke. The enemy had projected stroke and death. And God had waved and said, no, no, my daughter. Oh, let's give him praise. This God. Oh, magnify him. My sister, my brother, magnify him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have worshipped. We will now please take him number 620. 620. God moves in a mysterious way. He's wonders to perform. So when God says no, it could be a yes to something else. Hymn number 620. Please, um, technical, when you project things on the screen, make the prints very large so that everybody can read. 620. God moves in a mysterious way. He is wonders to perform. That's the tune I know. Are you okay with that? Are you okay? You don't know that one? Huh? Do you know it? Pardon? God moves in a mysterious way. His wonders to perform. He knows his footsteps in the sea and rise upon the sun. God moves in a mysterious way. His wonders to perform. He plants his footsteps in the sea and rise upon the storm. So are you okay with that? So let's just worship the Lord, declaring that He's God, He's not man.
just worship you. We bow ourselves, our wisdom, and everything concerning us at your throne of mercy. And we ask, O oh Lord, the almighty God, the one whose ways cannot be fathomed, please have your way in our midst this morning. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on each one of us. Have mercy on Nigeria. Have mercy on the world. Have mercy on the works of your hands. Have mercy on your church. And speak to us this morning. Speak with us, O Lord. The purpose for this gathering, Father, please uh, let it come to pass in Jesus' name. And as many that are here with us physically, online, touch each one of us in Jesus' name. Let us have a divine encounter with you in the name of Jesus. And as many that are on the way to hellfire, Father, pull back and save in the name of Jesus. Save all that are sick. Deliver the oppressed, O Lord. Rekindle our hope and our faith, O Lord. Bless our Father and the Lord, Daddy Joe, and our Mother and the Lord, Pastor Folu Adeboe, in the name of Jesus. Let all be well with us, O Lord. Let us live here rejoicing with testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord very well. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. Please be seated. You are welcome to this service, to the presence of the Most High to signs and wonders, to testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, 
I believe God would want us to share on the word with a theme, zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. That means I will not tolerate anything God has not tolerated in my life. I refuse. No matter how attractive it is. Not of God, I refuse to have it. Zero tolerance. Not 1% tolerance, but zero. Zero tolerance. Do you understand that now? Do you understand? If you understand, wave to me, please. Okay, thank you. We're taking our text from Joshua 14, verse 10 to 14. Joshua 14, 10 to 14. I want to make sure everybody is with us. So... Somebody will, somebody in front will read the text to us. Joshua 14, 10 to 14. So I want somebody in the front two rows. Just pick the microphone. This is the King James Version, please. You want the KJV Version? KJV. Whoever wants to... Joshua 14, 10 to 14. And now, behold, the Lord had kept me alive. And now, behold. And now, comma, behold. Go on, sir. The Lord had kept me alive, as he said. These forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day four score and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now. For war, both to go out and to come in. Now therefore give me this mountain. Sorry, now therefore give me this mountain. Go on. Whereof the Lord spake in that day, for thou heardest in that day how the Anakins were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so, be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. Verse 13. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb, the son, the son of Jephunneh, Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jehulen, the Kenazite, unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. Thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. I have preached on this to myself, to others. Not once, not twice. But each time I read it, something comes new. And something new is coming for you, for me today, through this scripture in Jesus' mighty name. This was Caleb. And we know that Caleb was one of those who reached the promised land. And we're talking about zero tolerance. How do I ensure that I do not allow what God does not allow in my life? For example, sudden death, sorrow, pain, barrenness, Everything negative, the works of Satan. We can learn quite a few from this short passage. Joshua said, the Lord has kept me alive, as he said. These 40 and 5 years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, in other words, Joshua was declaring, God is not a man that you should lie. He said it 45 years ago. I have not forgotten. It may seem to have tarried, but that word of God is settled in heaven. Did he not say so? Did I not receive it? Did I not believe at one time? If God said it, it is settled. No man, no power can overturn it. That's the first thing. I want to have zero tolerance for negative things flying all over the place. And they'll multiply. Negative things will multiply. 
you can see we're in the end times. So the first thing to remember that God gave you a word and don't let go of that word. Numbers 23, 19. Numbers 23, 19, 20. God is not man that should lie. Has he said and shall not do it? Has he spoken, shall I not make it good? Behold, I have received commandment to bless. He has blessed and I cannot rest. You remember the story of the Moabites, the king uh, Moab that took the prophet to go and curse, took him to the high hill to go and curse Israel. I need time. The man of God said to curse. He said, no, God has blessed them. I am trying, but I can't. I can't reverse the blessing of God. That blessing is a cover. It is a shield. Even if I pronounce the blessings, it will go back. And the curse has to go back to the center. So remember what God has said concerning you. You are a child of God if you have given your life to Christ. So no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Even though it tarries some promises, it will come to pass. If God told me, so it is. You shall see your children and children of your children. You shall get married. Your joy shall be restored. Sorrow shall be removed. Shame and reproach shall become a thing of history. In the name of Jesus, what killed your forefathers, my forefathers, suddenly will have no say in my life in your life. God said it's the word of God and I'm receiving it now. And so it stands forever. There's healing in the house. Spirit, physical, emotional, maritally, financially. In the name of Jesus, the siege is over. Amen. In fact, the New Living Translation says, New Living Translation says, God is not a man, so he does not lie. He is not human, so he doesn't change his mind. Has he ever spoken and failed to act? Then the second thing also, the second scripture is this, or the second thing you should hold on to, to say no to what you should say no to, is that it may seem that the vision, maybe you had a dream, it may seem that it has faded. dead. Wait for it. It's for an appointed time. Mm, there's an appointed time. When a woman is pregnant, I'm sure by the time, most of us know, by the time she's carrying the baby for seven months, eight months, she's tired. She just wants the baby to come out. But she's stuck with that child. <laughs> she can't say, I'm going to the supermarket, I'm going to the market, I take her, I'll take out the baby and put the baby on the bed. I'll come back and carry you and put you in my womb. Wherever she goes, and if she's carrying twins, like some of us who carry twins, or even triplets, he's even heavier load. She's anxious to deliver. But the doctor will say, no, the time has not come. If, you are, if we induce you now, the baby may be injured. You may be injured. There's always an appointed time. It's will, your time will not be before the time. It will not be after. Even for me, Jesus said, the appointed time. Amen. He shall speak and not lie. Wait for it. Don't start trying things that are not of God. There's a man who was in a par uh, um, former parish, former province, in fact. And the first time the baby, the wife was pregnant, the baby died. I think second time, miscarriage. Ah, ah. So people were coming, an auntie that he had never seen before. I said, this thing is not natural, hello. There's somebody somewhere, let's go, one mountain. He said, he said to himself, it has come to a stage that they be taking me to mountain. One man there. God, has he come to that level? Now they have two children. Without going to one man, one woman there. Wait for his sister. Brother, wait for it. As you come to pass. Number three point I want us to go home with is this. Caleb said... God had said this thing a long time ago. And time has passed to...
will it still come to pass? But Caleb, by faith, I mean a 44-year-old, 45-year-old man, oh my, it's not the same as 85. A gap of 40, 45 years is a lot of difference. But he encouraged himself and said, I may be aged, I may have aged, but I'm still strong. Somebody said, I'm strong. I am strong. I am strong. Say it. I'm not feeble. I will not collapse. I'll not be on wheelchair. I'll not be led by man and woman leading me somewhere. No, 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 no. I will not go, I will not be paralyzed. I am strong in the Lord. I'm strong in the word of God. In the name of Jesus. I may be so, so, so years old, but I'm strong. I have the breath of God in me. I'm the image of Christ. And it has been said concerning me, I will not die till I'm over 100 years old. And even then, if Jesus tarries, I will not be locked up in one room because of my age. I'll be strong. I'll not lose my mind. I'll not lose my memory. My business shall yet prosper. I shall yet rejoice in the Lord. That's what Caleb was saying. He said, even as I was 40, 45 years ago, so I am. I'm still able to conquer. I'm still able to receive the blessings of God. Somebody speak the word out to yourself now. Don't tolerate the contrary words. Daddy said, aging does not mean you are degenerating. Speak the word concerning you. Where is there pain in your body? Where is there something that's like sickness? It is said, let the people in Zion not say, I am sick. I am not sick. Oh, don't tell me I am sick. I am not sick. I have to be sick. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the weak say, I am made whole. I am whole. I may stay by the words of my mouth. Here is sickness, affliction, wherever you are hiding my body. My body is temple of the Holy Spirit. You cannot habitate inside. Don't tolerate it. I think fight that thing now. A lot of us, we know how to fight at home. We talk, 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 talk. Woman will talk. Mother will talk. Father will talk. Child will talk. We'll reply. Why don't you talk at this time? Speak out the word. The word will go to the, to, to the target. You are tired. Some of us are tired of blessing yourself. If you can't bless yourself, who will bless you? Thank you, ma'am, for standing up. Thank you for believing the word of God. Thank you for declaring it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My organs function this, the way God made them to function. That's how my organs function. No one will stop functioning. I will not have a case of the heart has stopped beating. No, in the name of Jesus. My heart will not fail me. For the Lord is the strength of my heart. And my portion forever and ever. The Lord is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Therefore my heart will not fail me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not a candidate for, 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 for surgery and for experiments on the bed of teaching hospitals. No, in the name of Jesus Christ. My story is not negative. No, 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 no. My story is not negative. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll not be a spectacle. I'll not be a negative example on CNN. Ah, or, or, or on Arise News. Or channels. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for signs and wonders. Me, as for me, as for me, for me and my children, were for signs, were for wonders. I will still carry my children. None is barren in the land. They, they may be barren. They may not have children. But I say... In my own land, none is barren. I will see my children to the fourth generation. They surround me like all is round about my table. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is well me shall be well with me. Every plan the enemy has, has planned for me, for today, for this week, for this month, for this um, year, for this uh, decade, now will come to pass. It is all what God has for me. As I was before, so I am, so I shall be. It can only be from glory to glory, from strength to strength. I'll not diminish. No, no, no. I'll not decline. Spirit, soul, and body. My joy will not decline. I'll not mourn. Mourning has been cut away from me. I say no to cancer. I say, I say no to the, to, to the secret sickness that cut off those before me untimely. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I am strong. I am strong. I have power. 
I am strong in the Lord. I am powerful. I am powerful. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please be seated. That's what Caleb said. Said, I'm as strong this year as I was. As that day. I'm still strong now for war. To go out and to come in. I will not die on the battlefield of life. You will not die in the midst of problems. They will not carry dead body to your house in Jesus' name. Amen. No, in my house in Jesus' name. So how many points now? Hmm? Three, yes. Mm. So the promise was given to me 40 years ago. Time has passed. That's calculation of man. No. So we look at the natural. Look at the physical. You look at your account and you say no. No tolerance for discouragement or illogical logic. What's illogical logic? Illogical logic is one plus one is two. But God says it's not two. Home in your marriage, one plus one is one. So the enemy says, one plus one is two. You are married. But the two of you separate. I say, I say no to illogical logic. Whatever is not of the word of God, even though it's, vis it's visible, is illogical in the dictionary of God. Don't tolerate it. And then Caleb said, therefore, give me this mountain. Give me this land. That's what you're saying. And the land had mountains, so had problems, challenges. He looked up and saw the land. Said, but God said, this is my land. And he saw hills. He saw challenges. He saw obstacles. He saw delay. He saw the spirit of giving up. He saw the impossibility. Because the land had the Anakims. And they've been there for a long time. They had long necks. So over the years, their necks have been growing. Brethren, there are some things that have long necks in our lives. But we say today, give me my land. I possess my land. Long sunny issues. Some of us have ac accepted them. Some say I was born like that. It's, it's genetic. It's true, it's genetic. It's the bloodline. The life is the blood. But remember the blood of Jesus. I'm no longer carrying the blood of man. I'm carrying the blood of Jesus. Don't be afraid. I heard the ministration of a, ma of a woman. I think a man. There were two of them. One, both of them had cancer. I think one came out of the cancer. The other one was doing well. Respond to treatment. So everything just went down. And the person died. So they demanded, I think America, an autopsy. And they discovered that it was not cancer that killed that person. No. It was fear. You know, in some countries, they, they, they can detect almost anything. Because they didn't see the cancer cells in the body. He had gone through a healing program. He was in church on a day like this. And had declared no more cancer. And he received it. And the cancer cells disappeared. And he himself knew. But suddenly... According to him, the thing came back. He was feeling the signs and symptoms. When they did the postmortem, they said all the cells were non-cancerous. But fear that thing has come back. It will not come to pass. Say, I will not die. Before my time, I shall live. It doesn't matter what may come my way. My times are in your hands, O oh Lord. You don't have to be afraid. Choir. You don't. I don't have to be afraid. I said I will not. I won't kill my four parents. Shame and reproach. No more. 
in the name of Jesus. I say no to it. I will not borrow. I, I, I will not have landlord coming to evict me. If uh, there's a landlord over my head, I can be a landlord and landlady as well. How is going to happen? I don't know. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. I don't have to worry. And don't you be afraid. He's talking to me. He's talking to me. Joy Not to you, to me. Comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Trouble stay the last always. For there's a friend named Jesus who will wipe your tears away. Lift your hands and say Testify. We Thank you. Let's be seated. Because of time. Let's be seated. Thank you, choir. Caleb said. As I was X years ago, so I'm up till now. I can still conquer. I can still overcome. I can still testify. Whoever you say you are is who you are. Whoever God says, whoever you say I am is who I am. God, who are you? You are the I am that I am. He even told me, I am that I am. I don't have one name. I have many names. Whoever you say God is, is who God is to you. And because I'm a child of my father, whoever I say I am, is who I am. Caleb said, I am strong. Jesus asked the disciples, Matthew 16, verse 13 to 17, Matthew 16, 13. He said to them, who do men say that I? He said, I'm the son of man. But I want to know who do they say I am? Well, I know who I am. But let people hear how ignorant they are. And they said, some say this, some say that. Then he asked, hmm, but who do you say I am? And Peter, Simon Peter say, you are the Christ. When you confess who God says he is, you get a reward because he's settled. When he said that, Jesus said to him, you are blessed already. As you praise and worship God and declare who he is, from what I read here, God is saying, because of your positive confession and your understanding and declaration and your faith, I bless you. He said, because of this, I'll build my church upon that revelation. I'll build people. I'll build the church, my body, on the revelation you have. So you can become plenty, you can become small. Depending on the revelation. Said, you are Peter. And I say unto you, Peter, you that I say I'm the Christ. I'm saying to you, you are Peter. And upon your revelation, I will build my church. And nothing shall prevail against the, the church. So Peter, nothing shall prevail against you. Because of the revelation and your declaration. Isaiah 3.10. Isaiah 3.10 says, Say to the righteous, it shall be well with him. For they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Joshua said, though the land has hills, challenges, I'm not a failure. 
what are surrounding me may point to the fact but for me I say I will not fail I am strong hallelujah so there are mountains generational mountains and like we shared before mountains don't get formed in 10 years some are 13 years I mean um, a thousand years thousand years some 2,000 years, some 10,000. That's where earthquake are what can really blast them because the earthquake will go to the root. Earthquake is in the earth, will uproot from the earth because they've been there, formed in the earth, mountains. So Caleb saw the mountains. But well, he said, the word of God, so Zerubbabel says, is not by might or power, but by my spirit. Who art thou, great mountain? Zechariah 4, 6 to 7, Zechariah 4. Who art thou, great mountain? Things have been embedded in your lives, like we shared at um, the women's ministers' conference yesterday. Serial events, one after the other. Serial, series, series one, series two. Series 3, Series 4, the same matter in various dimensions. Coming out in series, like they say in law, serial killer. Not just killed once. He goes here, the killer kills. He goes to another house, kills. Noted for killing. Serial events in the family. Great mountain. But the law says just somebody... That great mountain shall become a plain in the name of Jesus. Not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. So don't forget, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Proverbs 23, 7. Verse 23, 7. A good man out of the abundance of his heart brings forth what is good. An evil man out of the evil treasures of his heart bring forth what is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, heart his mouth speaketh, speaketh. Zero tolerance. Point number maybe four. Have a goal. Must have a goal. If you have a goal, nobody will come and distract you easily. There will be distractions. So. Oh, there's bound to be distractions for everybody alive. But you must have a goal. A woman who is in labor ward or on the delivery bed has a goal. And she's not saying a man, hey, look at that doctor, uh, he's delivering me, he's a man, oh, and I'm going to open my legs before him, a small boy. He's taking my delivery. No, let me cover my body. Her goal is... That baby must come out alive. I must carry my baby. Maybe God is selling somebody. I must carry my baby. That baby must come out alive. And I must not die. I'll cooperate. If the young doctor says, Madam, shut up. Because you are talking, your blood pressure is compromised. The madam says, Yes, sir. To a, to a young boy. Because she has a goal. Don't you have a goal? You, 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 you just. You just turn your back to some other things. There's an end. First Corinthians 4, 24. 1 Corinthians 9. 1 Corinthians 9, 24, 27. Don't you know that whoever runs in a race, everybody runs, but only one receives the prize. So run. Live in this world so that you can get your prize. It's not too late. Sister, it's not too late, brother. It's not too late. Didn't you hear the testimony of that woman? I think it was a woman in camp. I've never heard it before, so it's amazing to me. How armed robbers came to the house. I think the man, the father of the house, left, you know, went out. And there was, um, they were tuned to Dove. Maybe on the phone, I don't know. On, yes, or on the, on, the, on, the, on the screen. And armed robbers don't come with food. They don't come with apples and rice. 
and chicken and goats. They come with knife. They come with guns. They come with anger. They come ruthlessly. They come mad. And they saw that the family were crowded in front of their TV. And they were praising God because it was praise and worship time. And the armed robbers joined them in praising God. Armed robbers. They came to the house, were praising God, worshiping God. Then when they were going to go, they gave, they gave them 30,000 naira. Didn't you hear the testimony that for your data, use this? Is that abnormal or is it normal? Eh? For, DS, <laughs> for DSTV. They even knew the price of DSTV. I mean, that's amazing. Only it, it takes only amazing God to do that. So some people are saying, give up. It cannot be. You say, no. That Gio said, if you want to, to come to me, don't come with the word, it's not possible. He doesn't want to hear the word, it's not possible. He said it not too long ago. Didn't you hear him? He said, don't come to me, it's not possible. He's seen too much. He has seen the impossible over turn, over turn, not once, not twice, over and over again. He's lived in the midst of people saying impossible and seeing it possible. We have heard. So have a goal. Don't pursue what has no reward. People run, but run so that you may obtain the prize. Therefore, be temperate in all things. Take every take things easy. Be ang angry for a bit. Don't cut corners. Have mountain moving faith. Take no for an answer where God has said no. And take yes as an answer where God says yes. Let it be unto me, unto you, according to the word of God. Remember Elizabeth? And the husband serving God. This Bible says, well stricken. Well, not just stricken in age, well. Dead womb, shriveled, wrinkled. But one day, everything turned around for that family. A marked and designed by God before they were born to carry the one that will come before Jesus. Then as we go towards the end, recall in your mind. Recall. Don't be, don't be a short um, memory. Don't let your memory be short. That is one sickness that a lot of human beings carry. Short memory. They give the testimony. They believe. Then it's short-lived. Lamentations 3. Lamentations 3, verse 18 to 37. It's too long. Lamentations is a book written by prophet Jeremiah. And it was regarded to as a wailing and crying prophet. He was a prophet, but always crying. So many things made him cry. Wailing, you know, a lot of negative pro uh, prophecies from what he saw. His soul was weary. In fact, he says in verse 20, my soul had them still in remembrance. He said, remembering my affliction and my misery, the wormwood and the gall, my soul, I can still remember them. And I'm humbled. Then I remember those negative things. He said, this I recall to mind, therefore I have hope. He said, then he recalled, he remembered what God has done before. What God has done in my life for in the lives of people. Then hope came back. He says, verse 22, it's of the Lord's mercies that were not consumed. God owes no enemy apology or explanation when he starts to bless me and turn around my situation. Because his compassions fail not, they knew every morning, great is your faithfulness. Then he kept on, the Lord is my portion. And so on says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait upon him, 
to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It's good to go through challenges of our youth because they will fade away. But what gave him hope again? He recalled testimonies. He recalled stories he had heard. He recalled the facts that the plague did not sweep me and sweep you away. The plague was ravaging the whole world. Have you easily forgotten COVID-19? Have you easily forgotten? That time you coughed. Do you think it was ordinary cough? That time you said you had cold. Do you think it was ordinary cold? But it passed. It swept over the lands. It not carry the children. It not carry you away. You lost somebody maybe. You didn't lose everybody. So I want to give him thanks now. Amen. Who has suffered like Job suffered and will not go through in Jesus' name? But it was in Job. Job 14, 7 to 9. Job 14, 7 to 9. There's hope of a tree if it's cut down. It will come up again. The tender branches will come up again. Even though the root is weak, Yet, at the smell of water, at the smell of the Holy Spirit, there'll be a turnaround. And it's divine, it's not of man. In Jesus' mighty name. It will bud and sprout again like a new seedling. Like a new seedling, a new tree, new testimony, new marriage, new life new health, new children, everything new, divinely new, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So brethren, don't lose your faith. Say no, don't tolerate it. Don't say small. It's just a small boy. No. I remember daddy said, we're not supposed, Psalm 91 says, we're not supposed to, um, to dash our foot against a stone. I was going for a walk. Ah, not a few days ago. And I hit my stone against the, my leg against. I said, but why should I be hitting my leg? I mean, the, the presence of God. It's not supposed to be. I didn't get an answer, but it occurred to me, it's abnormal. I'm not supposed to hit my stone, my leg against a stone. It is abnormal to a child of God. I hate sickness. I don't know whether you hate sickness. I will not be sick and I will not be sick in the name of Jesus. Depends on how much you hate it. Depends on what you know is chasing you and what is ahead of you. I'll not die before my time. No more sorrow. I have had the enough and my sufficient and permanent share of losing loved ones and no more for me in the name of Jesus. I'm not preaching to you. I'm declaring it so that Satan can hear. I don't know about you. So don't look at me. He declared as well. Enough pain. No more pain. No more pain. Jesus took all the pains on the cross. He suffered. The mother looked at him. And he could not even bear to see the mother. The mother was in agony. No more agony concerning me in the name of Jesus. No more ago. Jesus took it. He was nailed. Blood came out. No more bleeding for me. No more bleeding for you. In the name of Jesus. It's time for us to pray now. And then finally, finally, use the blood of Jesus. When things are too tough, remember the blood. If you're a child of God, remember what? The blood. Not the blood of chicken and goat. So the blood of... Do you know the blood works? Do you know the blood works? Eh? Do you know every blood works? Do you know every blood works? Don't you see blood at, at crossroads, at junctions? Have you not seen sacrifices and there's blood, raw blood? 
I've not heard of people dying just, you know, in shrines. I see raw blood. Children being pounded. No more in this land in Jesus' name. Being ripped from the mother's wombs to shed blood. Bloodthirsty people. No more. Your blood will not be drunk. My blood will not be drunk. In the name of Jesus. None of my seed. Uh -uh, it's only the wicked who will drink their own blood as sweet wine in the name of Jesus. My blood is not to be drunk by any force of darkness or any agent of darkness. Say it after me in the name of Jesus. My blood will not be drunk, will not be sucked by any agent of darkness in the name of Jesus. Or you can't say it. Are you the agent of darkness? I'm sure you are not. No, 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 no. I will not start growing lean and lean. And they say, the, the, the blood, he has no blood. No, in Jesus' mighty, I have the blood of Jesus flowing through me. In the name of Jesus. My blood is poison to the enemy. In the name of Jesus. To bloodthirsty people. In the name of Jesus. You go out and go out and come back. And they, not, they will not drink my blood. My blood will not be shed on the highway. In any car accident. In the air on the ground. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Please be seated. The life is in the blood. Leviticus 17. The, blood, the life is in the blood. There's a story in the Bible. As we're finally rounding up. And it was, there was a fight. A war between Israel and the Moabites. You know that story. In 2 Kings chapter 3. And Israel was winning. And the Moabites gathered all their armies. And they fought, but they kept on losing. They kept on losing against Israel. And then, in verse 26 of 2 Kings chapter 3, 26, when the king of Moab saw that the battle was too strong for him, he took with him uh -huh, 700 men that drew the swords to break through onto the king of Edom and Israel, but they could not. Then what did he do? He took the firstborn that was serene in his stead, the very firstborn, and killed the firstborn, shed the blood, and the battle changed against Israel because of the blood. How much more the blood of Jesus? There's power in the blood of Jesus. Might by the blood of Jesus. And that blood is for you and for me. Once you give your life to Christ, you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. In the name of Jesus, let's please rise. I don't know what you are saying no to in your life. Look at your story. Look at your life. What is it that you don't like? If you like everything, then you can just sit down and be thanking and praising God. What is it in your family, in a first cousin, in an uncle, and you are sharing the same blood? You may not talk to that relation, though. You may hate each other, but you have common blood, you know. So what is happening to me is a point as to what is also in your family, but is hidden. I want to say in the name of Jesus, I refuse. What is it that you refuse? I don't know. You have to tell yourself and declare to God in the house of God what you refuse to have. Whatever you bind on earth is bound on earth. And in heaven what you lose is lose. What is it that you refuse today? Today, what to say no to today is no and is no forever because in the name of Jesus and by the power and the blood of Jesus that conquers Satan and all his cohorts, the agents of darkness that have come to steal, kill and destroy. I say no. You give me three minutes to deal with my issue too while you deal with yours. So be encouraged by what you have heard. Don't let it my words encourage you. I need my issues. I need to say no to some things. Finally and finally, once and for all, irreversibly, permanently. No, today marks that end. In Jesus' name, that disorder. Thank you.
that serial circle, that thing going round and round like a wheel, going round and round. The wheel can be fast, it can be slow, but it's still going round and round. The same way, no, serial death, serial sorrow, serial pain. Ah, mataria mokoshka ba inda reke ba sotoria. Makantaria mandege de brokoshkanta. Ah, the wheel. Ah, galloping to hell. Mantaria makoria mande to judgment. Ah, from sickness, from kingdom of darkness. Ilima ande reke branda. Makoshka po kaskente ria mande. Makataria, ah, freak accidents. Freak. They say it just happened like that. They don't know why it happened. Just small thing like that. Car and he spoiled all the joy of the family. No, Karama Sontoria. Some cannot even explain. They can't be explained because they are hidden. I say no to them by the blood of Jesus. I disconnect. I let my own Toria, my Kuria, my Ande Rege Braca Sontoria, my Kataria, my Ande Rege Braca Sontoria. Makoto ria mande gedi mande gere bosh kanda garia manda ya. Makoto ria mande gere ge senteria. Syria negative phone call. Phone call kani makushka pa in the rege banda ya. Syria negative news. Sekeli and visitors. A mande gede gede or you tiding. Sekeli mande rege brako senta. Makoria ma ande gede bako sontoria. Syria borrowing. The person will borrow money today. Ah, next um, year, you go to another person to borrow money. Syria borrower, borrowing, without ability to repay. Kanda remoko sontoria, that the Jews share with us, open heavens. The child will start a course. Instead of finishing, we'll go to another one. We'll go to another one. Le makosh kanta, it's not ordinary sister, it's not ordinary brother. Makanta ria, ndereke sontoria. Makoto ria, makante ria, makosh kande ria mandaya. Makoto ria, mande gedi, mande gede bro. Ah, baba, metal you have depression. Mande geri, makushka papa kaseteria. Mande gendi ri, makushka be. Inka ria, makuria, maliga, nde reke sentere badro. And he said, I said no to it. Kande gede boko shkanda garia, mako sentere badra. Kande giri, mako sentere. Mande gede ge sentere. There's an end to everything. Today marks the end of what God has declared. It's not for me. Negede ke sunda ria manda. Makuria ma inde gedi ga diga di ma kontaria manda ga ah inde gedi makushka paka senteria magende gedi ga di badroka sitaye isantoria makunde reke senteria no matter what sacrifices are no matter what the incantations are no matter what the bloodline is bringing and pa 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 no no nekeria ma santaria you have to drop you evil bloodline in Jesus name mande giri manda ya makuria mande ge senteria mande Gede gini ka sita ria makushka pa makonde gede kusante ria manda karia that evil habit that habit alcoholism alcoholism drunkenness eh mende keria mande addiction drug addiction magadika duka seteria mande ke no 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 in Jesus name kande gede gede bosonto impotence and infertility barrenness serial miscarriage serial abortion makonteria unclean spirits prostitution mande gedi makushka pa mande gedi mande kiri manda that sickness no 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 I will not tolerate it I will ah ma pa 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 kande gedi in the beginning it was not like that when God created man and woman everything was perfect everything was perfect kandi manda I reconnect to the beginning to be the blood of Jesus. No more sickness. No, 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 no. I kiss the word of God. Old age does not mean degeneration. Name bro. I see strength. I see power. I see ah, papa, encouragement. I receive hope. I receive in Jesus' name. I see strength. Mandegede bro. Kandagali mandegede bro. Reke broko sontoria. Makotoria mande gedi ba le gende gende gede bo ka evil habit that bad habit that's come part of me I say no 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 I kill it before you kill me in the name of Jesus se keli mande gede ne gende gede gede bo ro that storm serious storm ah papa.
papa ka senteria mande gede bodo ko sonto of dile mande gede braka sotoria makanta ria mande gede bro apa pa 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 starting a thing not ending it procrastination is always tomorrow 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 never comes when tomorrow comes it be another tomorrow i will i will i will never do it but i will let de reke sontoria mande gedi mande giri baro reke broko sontoria makataria ma ende gede bo na gande gede bro karema senteria where did this thing come from mande gede bo no 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 in jesus say mande gede broko skandaria maliga diga diga de broko sentaria manda gari makushka pa makuria malige de nege de gari ma sontoria Makaria mande gede broko shkenderi malakuria makalende mande keria mande gebo sontoria makade gedi gari moko seteria malagade gede broko shkendege senderia mande who are you what are you you great mountain before the name of Jesus and Lord Christ become a plain now become a plain and it just say mande gede broko sontoria malakade reke sonto you wash your way right now a papa with the blood of your sekeli mandara masontoria mande gede gede bon de gede broka seteri mandaya inga de gede no more fear no more fear kada rima sontoria fear has torment no fear fear opens the door to sickness no more fear i'm rooted in christ and christ alone mande ge rima koshka papa i am strong mande gede broko sri soul and body mande giri bako sotoria mande gede bo lima koria nde reke sontoria mande gede bodro makaria ma sontoria i choose the word of god Ah, against the word of man, le basunta lima ande gede bondo koria sentere badra. You are not talking to me, Satan. You are not addressing me. I will not be sick. I am well, and I'll be well. I'll build an inhabit in the name of Jesus. I'll not be for that to inhabit. No, in the name of Jesus. Ele mondere ke sontoria, makendere ke sontoria, mande gede bro, reke brako sotoria, malikandere. You great mountain. You become a Play right now, wherever you are right now, in the graveyard, in the in, 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 labor under the water, in the village, in my past, past relationships. Ah, mande gede broko sotoria, malika toria, mande giri mandaya, rande riga bo, sakuria maluka seteria, mayinda kasenteria mande ye, inga de gede broko sotoria, mande gede bro, raga boko sotoria. Malakande reke basentaria mande gede bro kasete randa reke boko sontoria we got all this shall be possible we declare a change we declare a change a change the great turn around the great turn around the great turn around in the name of Jesus sekeli badra rande reke boko sontoria mande gede boko shkanda kasen i be i not be shot in my in my sleep i not be shot by armed robbers no my sleep be shot by armed robbers by kidnappers no 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 never send teria negende gere gere bodro mande ge sotoria mande geria maku senteria mashkanta al sofa shame no more no more no more in jesus say mande gere bro limantaria mande gere bo sontoria ye masente brother pray sister pray stand in the gap this morning stand in the gap mande ga say no fight for your destiny none of my sin will end up in hell i not end up in hell for the mercy of god i'm not consumed mande ke sentere badra le mande ke de brondo ye sentere badra my children my seed and their seed and seed yet unborn who hear the voice and the word of god tell them this way to go turn therein and they shall listen they will not be like dogs Ah, ba 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 ba. That will not hear the voice of his owner. In the name of Jesus, say, "Kelly, man, they get able." The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. In the name of Jesus, say, "Kelly, man, they get able." Render the sontoria, man, they get. I have the bones. Hallelujah, man, they carry, man, they remo sontoria, bara. Of a young person, just a man, they get bro. Rebo shka pa 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 ye. Ne carry a lady, reke pa sontoria. Manda garia nereke sontoria. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are becoming new. I believe it in Jesus' name. Ile nereke sontaria. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Didn't you hear that the Jew tell us as a human being? He said, "Went to America. 
<clears throat> not too long ago, maybe last year or so. Oh, I don't know, he said, I can't remember the year. He said his children, maybe spiritual and um, bad culture, he insisted, go and have a checkup. So he said, okay. They say at a certain age, we should be checking. He said, when the doctor came, my doctor said, it's all about two years ago, not long ago. He said to Daddy Adeboy, you have the heart, heart of a 35-year-old. 35-year-old. I will not tolerate degenerative heart. Pray for your heart. Your heart will not fail you. The heart of your seed will not fail. My heart, my body will not fail me. My destiny will not be, we will not be chewed as corn by the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Doctor said you have the heart of a 35-year-old. He was over 70, maybe 75, 70, I don't know. Le Basotoria. But suddenly over 70. Suddenly over 70. Man, they get able. The Lord is of my heart and my flesh forever. My heart will not fail me. I have the heartbeat of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Man, they get a broko sontoria. Makuria, mahande de boko shkandaria. Materi mande regebo sontoria. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. He's our, our same father and the Lord. Years ago, maybe it's up to 30 years, we had a meeting with him. I remember. He won't share. Compass, not like that. I was leaving and he had a, not glasses, what do you call it? Magnifying glass to read. He was saying, <laughs> okay, when you get my age, you know what it means. You know what it means. He was in magnifying glass, putting it there. But he doesn't wear glasses anymore. That thing has faded away. I remember magnifying glass. He reads. I can see him now in camp. Don't you see? I've seen glasses on him before. I've seen him carry magnifying glass. It has faded away. What you tolerate is what is allowed. Refuse. 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 I refuse. It has not been written concerning me. No. I'm, I'm more than this. I'm a child of God. I am a child of Christ. I cannot be drinking anyhow. La, I'll be smoking anyhow. I'll be womanizing. And my boys, boys, and the Holy Spirit. Na remo kosontoria. Makuri, I'm telling lies like a fish. Makunde gedebo. Apa, I'm the temple of the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit dwells inside me. He fights for me. And I hold my peace. Mande gede broko sotoria mande gede bo le makushkanda gadiga diga la ushali I shall not die mande gede bro raga boko sotoria mande gede I decree the great turn around in my body in my health in my marriage in my family in my children in the name of your second in my business in my finances in my ministry le mande gede bro. Hell was not created for me or for my family. By the mercy of God, I make a turn around. Ah, Papa, I can lay my hand in reggae boko sotoria. Man, they get it, but in the get it, broko shkanda. Anger will not kill me. Flesh will not kill me. I refuse flesh. Flesh stinks. I lay my hand in reggae boko. I plead the blood. I plead the blood over myself. Over those hidden parts of darkness, I don't know. Those things I don't know overcome with the blood of Jesus. I'm a new creature. I'm a new person. By the mercy and the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say to yourself, I declare. In the name of Jesus, zero tolerance to what God has not said. Or written concerning me. It does not matter who has said it. It does not matter where it has been written. It does not matter where it has been stored. I declare zero tolerance for me, for my seed, for my family, for my today, our tomorrow, my marriage, my destiny, destiny of my children, my ministry. I declare zero tolerance. I declare zero, zero tolerance. My corn will not be chewed as meat by the enemy. No more in the name of Jesus. I will not give up. I receive the promises of God. I hear and amen in Christ Jesus. I'm a brand new creature. I'm a mother of many. I'm a father of twins. I'm a of triplets. Ah, papa, papa. Ah, mande de boko sontoria. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. And then. I don't know where you are, whether you are listening to us on the internet or you are here. It's good to pray. It's good to warn the spirit. It's good to do everything you have done. 
but you need to humble yourself. You need to say, Jesus, I cannot be your enemy. You be my enemy, and I'm praying. So if you are here, you want a genuine and serious turnaround, you need to give your life to Jesus. I'm not talking about coming to church. I'm not talking about you being embarrassed. You know there's some things that if Jesus should appear, you yourself be embarrassed to tell him that I'm still carrying this thing. But God wants a new beginning for you. Trust me, sister. Trust me, brother. You can't fight this God that is the only ally. Those small, small dots are what the enemy will use to stop what God wants to do. So if you are here this morning, wherever you may be, physically on the internet or on the radio, you are listening, I want to surrender to Jesus. Please, I'd like to pray with you. Wherever you are, just wave to me. Wave to me and say, I want to surrender to Jesus. This world is just too, it's, it's too much for me. I want God to carry my load. I want God to carry my load. I want a new beginning of joy, 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 joy in the Holy Ghost. I don't want to go the way of the negative anymore. Wherever you are, lift up the hands because I want the ushers to just give you a card. So get that card. You feel the card. Well, wave to me so I can pray with you wherever you may be right now. Just say, I'm the one. I'll surrender my life to Jesus. You're on the internet and you can listen. Just say, Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I give up my life to you. I want a new beginning. Save me. Deliver me. I don't want to end up in hell. Have mercy on me. Let all things be new in my life. I'm a child of God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Blessed be your name, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we just want to thank you. We want to bless you, give you glory and praise and honor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for a new beginning for each one of us. Thank you, Lord, for revival in your land. Thank for what you have done that we don't understand. Thank for what you are doing. You can do no harm. You can do no evil. We trust you, O Lord. In you and in Christ alone we stand. Blessed be your name, O Lord. And I want to pray and say, Lord Jesus, use me. Use me. Use me for your glory. Pray that prayer. Use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. I want to be blessed by you. Use me. He said to Peter, because you have revelation. You have revelation of Christ. You have revelation of what it means to be in Christ. He said you are blessed. And he said you will multiply. I'll build the church upon you. Ask God, use me. Use my children. Use those who are precious to me for good. As positive for positive signs and wonders, not negative in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Christ alone, my hope is built. Blessed be your name, Lord. Let's thank the Lord. Give him thanks. Give him praise now. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. My hope is If you want to give your life to Christ, you can still come to the altar. If you want to give your life to Christ, you want to surrender, just come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Oh, <laughs> 